hello. <laughs> took you a second, didn't it? You're like, <laughs> no, I, I, took, I got it the first time. I was just there, like, You're like, why would he say that? <laughs> I've been seeing the two words Hollow Knight everywhere for like months, would you say? Months. I'm going to say months. Since like May. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> the puns stop here. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a suggestion. That was a demand. The puns stop here. Here. I've been diving into soundtracks for a bunch of different kinds of games, and this is one that falls into the category of complete ignorance. After all this time listening to music on this channel and diving into all these kinds of things, I'd be like, yeah, I know, nothing's gonna shock me, nothing's gonna take me off guard. Wrong. Very, very wrong, okay? The most wrong I've ever been about anything. As a side note, if you'd like to see me play some games, I have a gaming channel. I would even play Hollow Knight if you all want. The link will be in the description below. Shall we? Hit it. Yeah, hit it, hit it and quit it. Mm. <laughs> There's a gift for you. <laughs> this first one is called Radiance. Okay, I didn't actually mean like hit me. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Bouncing around my brain, hitting me in my cerebral cortex. That's what I just experienced. That's a little terrifying. That's what I was hoping for or what I was expecting, but not quite in this style. And I think that's what initially threw me and what's still sort of throwing me. Cause it's a lot more, I don't want to say dramatic. Like it is dramatic, but that's not what I'm trying to get at. It's like, it sounds like something bad is happening. It doesn't sound very positive. Evil is afoot. Those choir vocals are uh, definitely given some sort of sound. It's, it's haunting and terrifying. This sounds like what the villain would be playing on their organ, like in their creepy mansion while the thunder strikes. <laughs> well, thunder doesn't strike, but you know what I mean. <laughs> this is just another thing that I, it's so impressively composed. Listen to those swells and like the triplets as well. Was this done by a group or just a person? Christopher Larkin, show me you. It seems like Mostly just one person. Oh, Adelaide, yeah, he's from Australia. Hell yeah, that's crazy good. I don't know about Christopher and his skill set. What I do know some composers do that blows my freaking mind is that they are able to write music and have these really in depth, intricate compositions, sometimes without even playing the instruments they're writing for because they just know how they all blend together as instruments and are able to make it work even though they don't themselves personally play it. And that in itself is crazy to me. It's so good. And hearing the way all these instruments already blend together to create such an intense tone. I'm so here for it. What a first song to start with. Those stabs, they just kind of hit me in my spine. It feels visceral. I'm half expecting. Oh my God. Yes, the slowdown, hell yeah. The way those strings bring those notes around. Feels like it's spiraling down. I think they're like brass instruments underneath all that, but they are also carrying this with a bit of weight and are serving to take that sharpness and make it absolutely cut through everything. The dramatic extension. Oh my lord. Somehow I'm very surprised and also not at all. Does that make sense? No. I think it's because what it is wasn't necessarily that much of a shock to me. It just felt like the kind of soundtrack that would give me some sort of intense orchestral sounds. What does surprise me is the how. <laughs> Not just in the compositional and tonal techniques, but also in the choices used to really highlight those techniques. I'm sold already. One song. Let's go. I need another. I need my... A Hollow Knight fix. This one's called Hornet. I was gonna say it sounded a little bit happier and then it and then it didn't. Just sounds more uh, impatient and tense. It's the kind of music that plays in my head when I realize I've forgotten to do something. Okay, well now it's a bit more relaxed. <laughs> right as I say, oh yeah, it's tense and has a sense of panic. It's like, Yeah, what really evokes tense panic in me is long flowing violin notes. 
Right. But as I'm saying that and I'm joking about how silly I sounded with what I said, I'm realizing as well that that contrast and that juxtaposition is probably the point. And that's cool. This feels a little more on the inspirational side, but with turmoil. Whenever I sit down to listen to a soundtrack, and specifically a video game soundtrack, and even more specifically an indie video game soundtrack, there's always a part of me that I think worries that they're going to be undervaluing what a good soundtrack can do. And I understand as well, especially for indie games, if you have a limited budget in both time and money, you're gonna probably dedicate it more towards the game. But it's always just wonderful to load up a soundtrack like this and be like, oh, yeah, uh, whew, yeah th there's definitely time and, and space dedicated to this. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more frantic now. And it feels like they're doing it by zoning in on that one instrument's melody. That's a change. Even more frantic, but in a, in a weird way. Didn't expect the really fast piano notes. I swear I just heard a bass, like a double bass or something. Oh, that was gorgeous. They are using this huge range for the top melody of the strings. It's going from so deep on those to so high. There's just something about hearing it be done so effectively. It sends joy to every part of my brain. Oh, that repetition that goes so much deeper, that slaps. Here is my humble request to seemingly all of these incredible composers I'm coming across. Please stop. Please stop being so ridiculously good. That that would be great. I'm not saying stop making stuff and I'm not even saying stop being good. Just stop being near perfect because it makes me feel bad. If you could take it down 1%, you know, that would make me feel a lot better about myself and my capabilities as a human. And when you look at people like insanely talented athletes, that's a whole other world. I'll never interact with that. I'm interacting with this right now. This is involved in my daily life and I'm not used to perfection, except for when I look in the mirror. This next one is called Grim. I think that's just the title, Grim. It's from an update to the game called The Grim Troop. Stop hitting me with that <laughs> first time, every time. <laughs> okay, this is straight up evil, right? This sounds like an evil theme. This is the kind of thing you agree to like murder an innocent family to while it plays. I don't know about y'all, but that's really been my experience with like evil orchestral things like this is they play and you're like, you just gotta commit mass murder, right? You know, I've actually gotten away with that in a court of law. I think you find people are really understanding. The last time I was on trial for mass murder, my lawyer was just out there like, Your Honor, what'd you expect him to do? Like this evil theme started playing on loudspeaker. Like you expect him to, to not hatch some evil plans? <laughs> oh. The fall down with those deep strings. Reminds me of like Phantom of the Opera. That's what I'm getting from this now. Excuse me. Excuse me, what the sh is happening right now? I've spent the whole time in this video listening to one type of thing and I've been loving it, but what, halfway through this, they go, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll go from those big strings, the organ, we'll do that fall down at the bass, and then right as that happens, let's hit some guitar, some electric guitar actually, and then some crisp compressed drums to uh, give it a bit of a metal sound. Cool. I love it, but where the hell did that come from? And double kick. Sure! Why, why, why the hell not? What an incredibly interesting blend. They've done it perfectly. Oh, the... 
Oh my god, the drums! The way that song closed out with this really solidly done and very clean drum fill that just hit everything on the kit, it's spicy. I can safely say, especially with the last two songs, if you'd said, hey man, you want to place a bet that there's going to be some double kick and guitar in the next one? I don't think I would have taken you up on that. And still, I freaking loved it. That was my jam entirely. And I think a part of that comes from me being really happy that it seems like they're making sure they mix things up. Because one, it keeps me engaged while listening to these songs, but also it keeps someone engaged when they're playing the game. The next one I'm excited for just because of the name, because oh, I guess it makes sense because of the whole insect thing. Okay, I read this out of context before I realized that he was an insect-like guy. Mantis Lords. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. Hit me, some, hit me with some mantis. Harpsichord. If they hit me with some drums in this one again, oh, I will lose myself. I'm gonna out a little lack of knowledge that I have. I'm listening to that, those deeper sounds. I don't know if it's a cello or a double bass. I can't tell the difference. I don't even know which one's which, but I'm pretty sure it's one of them. I love the sound and I wish I could differentiate. I bet they're gonna sound completely different. Can y'all tell me, like clarify in the comments? Some, someone will know, someone will play double bass, right? Or cello, just, just tell me. We're back to this intense emotional drama. I thought they were gonna ride off of that a little bit longer because that higher pitch tension was cool. Freakishly good. It's such an array of different sounds and what kind of sounds like a synth to break up between that. I love the play with rhythm, oh my God. It's just gonna end. Why did that one feel so much more intense than the other ones? <laughs> I think that may just be because there was so much happening at all times in that. It was like this constant torrent of sound. And maybe that's even one of the reasons that was quite a bit shorter than the other ones, because if you just keep smashing people in the face with sound over and over again, it's gonna get very overwhelming. <laughs> now the last one we're gonna listen to is called Nightmare King. Well, they've started with the drums this time. There are them haunting vocals again. Love that. I loved the way they kind of slid past us like ah. It's in a different time signature. Okay, I was wondering why this had like a prog rock sound to it as opposed to 4-4 four, four, which is the very standard like one, two, three, four sound. But at the same time, the reason I'm not super sure is because the way the rhythm of the drums go, it could almost sound like it's hiding a regular shift of the time signature and that might be adding to why it sounds a bit weird. Either way, damn fascinating. Every instrument is used so effectively. There are things that I'm noticing that have been there the whole time, but I, I haven't picked up on it until now. Like there's a constant guitar chord un underlying that. And it doesn't seem to be there for like melody. It's just there to fill out a sound. That's the kind of stuff I mean that sounds like it could be messing with the rhythm and time signature. It's so weird in all the right ways. I'm gonna stand up and walk out in a sec. It's just too... It's just, it's just too. It's too much of everything, too much of quality. Oh, am I slowing down with slow double kick? You have no idea how engaged I am with this right now. I'm trying to listen to every layer that there is because they are sneaking so many things in. I'm wondering if they're gonna shift this melody. Maybe not a full key change, but I can imagine them shifting it up within the same key.
One thing that's also super cool about this is hearing people use rhythm to make it sound like the song is slowing down when it's not slowing down <laughs> because I'm pretty sure the actual tempo, the actual beats per minute has stayed the same. But the way that all the instruments are relating to each other makes it feel like it's slowing down, almost even going into slow motion. And it's really cool to achieve that. Ah, oh, that's... That's such a good section. And in that rhythmic slowdown, there's a tiny second where they shift it up and it sounds more positive. The way that it almost sounds in this song is like this tiny one little ray of hope that comes through in this otherwise dark and sully tone. Hey, ain't that a nice little thing that might be happening? <laughs> love this little bit. Oh my freaking god. And to end it out with that epicness, oh my lord. Normally at the end of a video, I would have so many thoughts to share with you all. I'd be sitting here blabbering to the point that I'm like, you know what, maybe I gotta stop talking about stuff. However, this is one of those times where I'm a little speechless. My god, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to feel. I feel forever changed as a human. For, for doing this video. It hit me so hard that I'm in a million pieces right now. And I love it. I like being in a million pieces. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.